As the festive season sets in, the hotel industry is seemingly getting back to its feet, with hundreds of tourists, both local and international, flocking the country. However, despite the boom in business, the Ministry of Health's directive to deny unvaccinated Kenyans access to hotels has affected some businesses. <laughs> in Mumbai, sir, some hotels protested the directive, questioning its timing. Leopards Beach Resort General Manager Kyoko Musyoki says the directive will be disruptive to a sector that was crippled by the COVID-19 pandemic. Until uh, this announcement came, I would say the allotment that we had given them uh, was full, but uh, there's this charter which will be coming on the 27th, again for nine days. Currently, uh, they have only sold 18 uh, rooms as opposed to 35, which was on the allotment. Here in Nairobi, some malls are implementing the directive, requiring all shoppers to display proof of COVID-19 vaccination before admission. The Bar Owners Association, on the other hand, feels that the government should find a better way of identifying vaccinated Kenyans, especially on entertainment joints. We would uh, plead with them, if it is possible, as Balitza and our big brothers and manufacturers, that would come up with an, with an app that any time when you come to my premises, I will just ask for your phone number. They will put it on my phone and the app will show if you are vaccinated. Last week, the High Court suspended a state order requiring the vaccine mandate to begin on the 21st of December this year. A hearing on the case is scheduled for January 14th. However, the government has maintained its hard stance that only vaccinated Kenyans will access government services. This comes in even as Kenya recorded a number of 2,964 cases of COVID-19 today, setting the positivity rate as 32.6%. Milia Kisenya, K24 TV.